wrapping. I'm not sure what comes to mind when you think of that, but it's not Christmas wrapping. We wrap trees or we can use plastic guards to help reduce winter injury due to temperature extremes. It's called Southwest Injury or Sun Scald. Sun Scald occurs on the southwest side of the trunk, hence the name. And this is the warmest part of the tree in winter due to the location and angle of the sun. When the sun shines on the southwest corner of the tree, the bark warms up and wakes up the cells. And when the sun sets, our temperatures can drop rapidly, as we're all very aware of. And then the cells can freeze and burst, causing bark splitting and other wounds. So, so this cracking and splitting, they are common symptoms. You've probably seen them. It takes a long time for a wound like this to heal over, seal over. So that leaves the tree vulnerable to insects and disease. And so thin bark trees like uh, red maples, crab apple, ornamental cherries, they're at higher risk. And you may need to wrap those trees for two to five winters. Other trees, young, newly planted trees that aren't so thin barked, you probably need to wrap them for about two years. It just depends on how quick that bark kind of toughens up or gets a, a texture to it. So as a general rule, you want to get these wrapped by December, like Jennifer was talking about in the southern part of the state. You've got a little bit more time, but where I am or where Jennifer is, you want to go ahead and get those wrapped. Also, you want to use a lighter color wrap or a light colored plastic guard. You don't want to use a black one. You want to start wrapping at the bottom near the soil line and go around the trunk. And then you go up to the first set of branches. And it's very important that you remove it in the spring. You know, insects can get underneath there and cause problems. So remove it every spring. This, I don't know if you've ever seen a tree where it's got this damage at the bottom. And that is also due to some frost or freezing. And that is the last place to develop a cold tolerance is at the, the very base. And it's also the first to lose it. So I just recently saw a southern magnolia in this area that had that kind of damage. I wanted to remind you again how important it is to continue watering as long as the ground isn't frozen. We, as Pat mentioned, and you can see from this map, we certainly could use some precipitation and it's not in the forecast. So we talk about this often, and I just want to mention it one more time here, and maybe I'll mention it again in December, just to keep watering your trees and shrubs, especially evergreens and especially newly planted trees and shrubs.